I would like to have in America what you have right here in Malaysia. We cannot have the Adhan five times a day. It's against the sound ordinance. They can ring their bell for the church, but we can't give the Adhan. Oh, you can in the building. But if you make it as loud as their bell, they'll shut you down. Many times we want to build a mosque. They won't let us. They give you all kinds of excuses. We want to build a school. No, and they've even said it. We don't want a bunch of kids being shown how to make bombs. This is what they say. And seriously, they mean it. That's how ignorant they are. They don't know. And whose job is it to tell them? Yahudi, they have a lot invested in the media today. So we could go to the Yahudi and say, listen, you know what, we're Muslims, but we don't want to spend any money on dawah. You know what I mean? So do you mind telling everybody what's Islam in a good way? Thank you. That might work. Next time you're in Israel, why don't you try it? See how it goes. I don't think so. It's up to us. You have a great opportunity right here because you do have maybe 30 or 40 percent of the people here are not Muslim. Maybe another 10 or 20 percent of the Muslims don't really know about their deen. And Allah is making it so easy for you because you live in a Muslim country. Your government has Muslims in it. And they even know how to say assalamu alaikum. Wow! In fact, they even do salah. Oh! And you're not appreciative of it. You don't know what it's like to live in a country where people don't have a clue what's Islam at all. No idea. Many of the people in the West, they think Islam is something to do with Hinduism or Buddhism or something like that. They really don't know. So this is why we're working to put the station in. I'm asking you, please make dua for us. Please use the websites that we have and keep asking Allah to forgive all of us and make this message of Islam spread until as Rasulullah wasallam told us, the last day will not come until Islam has entered every house on this earth whether it's made out of the bricks or earth or out of the hair of the animals. So alhamdulillah, it looks like Islam is getting there. So we just got to work at it.